thee. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. See, justification is only going to come by performance. You only show your faith actually by doing what you believe in. So if the Lord said, Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt honor thy mother and thy father, honor the Sabbath day, the Lord said not to commit usury, the Lord said not to uh, lie with man, shouldn't be lying with man like it should be with a woman. If the Lord said, Any of the above, you're not supposed to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, shellfish, the Lord said, You got to live by all of those principles. Then you'll be justified. Now go back to uh, Joshua 1 and 8. So y'all back. Go ahead. Y'all ready now? Okay, okay, this no, book no. of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So the Lord told us that this book of the law, which is the Holy Bible, said that we're supposed to meditate therein day and night. It's a book of law, not religion. So let's get that clear. Don't think about religion when you see the, the Bible. Man made religion. Man says Christianity, Catholicism, Methodist, Baptist, so forth and so on. That's not what God said. You'll find none of those things in the Bible. Go ahead. But thou shalt meditate therein, day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So we got to meditate therein to do everything that's written, go ahead. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. That's the only way we're going to find prosperity and success is when we start doing what God told us to do. Let me ask y'all something. Do y'all know your nationality, according to the Bible, or what God called you? All right, I'm just asking so I know where to go. Okay. Are y'all familiar with this history? Mm -hmm. All right. Would you believe it if I showed you in the Bible all of these things that happened historically and the people that they happened to was you, your ancestors, my ancestors, and those same people are the Jews that the Bible speaks of? Would you believe that? Because right now, who they say the Jews are? Well, have you ever seen them people that walk around with the little small hats on their head that got the curly cue? You know who them Jews are. Don't we talk about it. You, you waiting for Mr. Johnson to tell you who the damn Jews are. Mr. Johnson ain't going to tell you. Okay? The thing is this. Here's one thing. I, let's do it this way. I'm going to do one thing first. With uh, Let's do Christ, and then we'll break down the true color of the Jews, and then we're going to go to this history real quick. Yeah. So you didn't pay attention in school. I ain't got no problem with that because they teaching a lot of lies. How about religiously in the world? Does grandmama have this picture? Did she ever show you this? So the, the, the preacher, you seen it, right? Okay. They told you that this was Christ? That this was Jesus? No. They didn't? Did they uphold this picture in the church? In your, your daddy church? You said you've seen it before, though, but right? you seen it. I've seen it, like, in church. Right, right, right. But not, not, your, not, not your... I understand. Okay. But you've seen what people are saying. Yeah. This is him, right? Yeah. So being that you're a preacher's kid, right? Did you ever read what he really looked like out the Bible? No. No? All right. So let's do that real quick. So the Bible tells us really what Christ looked like. Right. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. This is John, the apostle, right? He's getting a revelation, meaning a revealing, that was given to him by Christ. Now he said, a revealing was being shown to him. He got banished to the island of Patmos. He was locked down. And while he was while he was in prison, he received a vision. Okay, drop down with verse 11. Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. What thou seest, write in a book. So Christ told him, I'm the first and the last, and everything that you see, write it down in the book so now we're seeing documented history that he received directly from the vision and we're going to see what the christ told him to write down what did he tell him document read and send it unto the seven churches verse 13 and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot and gird about the paps with a golden girdle so the vision that he saw he said he saw the son of man being christ he said he had a garment down to the foot Similar like this brother guy, you know, he got the long coat on, down to his foot, and he said, and a girl about his past with a golden girdle. So he had a gold belt around his waist. So he had a long garment on, gold uh, belt around his waist. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So all the head, all the hairs of his head were white and the texture of wool. So we see, you know, clearly what wool is like. The afro texture, that thick texture. You see, brother wiping, yeah. 
Yeah, that's wool. <laughs> that's wool, right? And it said that it was white, right? Go ahead. That's white as snow. Reiterated the color. So we're just talking about not only the texture, but the color. We don't see that anywhere in any of these pictures that they've been showing us historically. Many of the churches uphold this. Many of our people believe this. Traditionally, was taught that this is what it was. But clearly, out the Bible, he's all down two stripes. It's not white, and it ain't really. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And he had red eyes. Go ahead. And his feet like as a fire brand. So because of that garment that was down to his foot, he had sandals on. It said his feet look like burnt, look like burnished bread. Brass is right there in the bottom. It's dark brown. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. And his feet look like they were so dark, like they had been burnt in a furnace. Go ahead. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had a strong voice. So clearly we see. The Son of Man, Christ, was dark skinned, had white woolly hair and red eyes. Who was this guy? <laughs> That's the question. And why was he used as a tool to manipulate the minds of the people? Why was he used as a tool to insert another form of racism and white dominance in our people's minds? He's a real person. Caesar Borgia, the son of Alexander the Sixth of Rome, right? He's a real person. This family, wicked as hell. He had incest with his sister. He killed his brother. He was a sodomite, meaning a homosexual. Check out the history about this, the Borgias. His name is Caesar Borgia. He's a real person, right? So here we are. Dark-skinned man, white with the hair. He was a Jew. Where are the rest of these dark-skinned Jews at? Did they just get lost in history? Did they just intermix and, and, and turned out looking like this all of a sudden? These people? All of a sudden, we looking like him now? Okay, so lies got to be exposed if we're gonna live by truth, okay? So that's number one. So now we're talking about melanated Jews, chosen people of God, right? Give me, give me Exodus and four. Let's, let's look at Moses real quick. You know, they show us Moses look like uh, another white man, Charlton Heston, and yeah. who played Moses in the movies recently? Oh, man. Uh, no, that was yeah, no uh, Was it uh, Christian Bell? Did he play Moses? Somebody. I don't know, man. Who well, are these yeah. <laughs> Just give me five minutes and you can you can have the rest of your day, my sister. Give me five minutes. No, you, you got yeah, you got five. Minutes. You got five. Give me give me five minutes. Come That's on, five sister, minutes. come on. Five minutes. It's gonna be worth your while. I promise you. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter four, and verse six. And the Lord said for the boy to him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. So he's talking about Moses now. See the brother, he just give me an example. If Moses asked God, he said, if you want me to lead these people, show me a sign. How am I supposed to, you know, let them know that I've been chosen by you? God. He said, okay, listen, take your hand, put it in your bosom. Mm -hmm. So he put his hand in his bosom like the brother's doing. Go ahead. And he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And when he pulled his hand out, his hand turned white as snow. Go ahead. This is Exodus 4. four. Yep. We're reading <laughs> the four books, four verse. KJV. Down to six. You gotta get that King James. Yeah. So we know about Moses. Moses was the great revolutionary man, led the children of Israel out of Egypt in Egyptian captivity, mm -hmm. led our people out into the wilderness to learn of the laws of God. Great historical man within our history, a Levite, okay, Please. which was the priest of God. Now he told him, put his hand in his bosom. He pulled it out, his hand was white. Go ahead. And he said, put thy hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom and again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. Another dark-skinned Jew, Levi, Moses, he said he put his hand back in. It was white, put it back in, he pulled it out, and got turned back to normal as his other flesh. So here we are seeing multiple, that's just one. There's so many pictures, scriptures in here that shows us that we were all brown and dark-skinned people. It's unbelievable, right? Here's the point. So now that we know that the children of God, the Jews, the Hebrews, were dark-skinned people, the Lord said that because of our disobedience, he was going to curse us and put us in conditions as signs and wonders so that we can know who we are in these last days. It's about coming back and being awoken who we are and taking our rightful positions as being the chosen children of God. Give me Deuteronomy 28, read verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, 
that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said, if we didn't keep the commandments, if we didn't do what we was told, he was going to curse us, all right? Read the first curse, 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. So when you look at the conditions of our people, man, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, dark-skinned people, melanated people, he said that we were going to be cursed in the cities and in the fields. Everywhere you go, there's a ghetto that's going to have our people in it, right? right. In the fields. This is a real picture. You know, July 4th, 1776, we was doing this. We were still in slavery. We wasn't out popping fireworks and barbecuing and all of that. July 4th isn't for black people. It is not. That's not our independence. It had nothing yeah. to do with us. But the Lord said that we were going to be cursed in the cities and in the fields. So here we are. We have to notice and look and see the conditions of our people in the cities and the fields. The tobacco fields, the sugarcane fields, our people was cursing the cotton fields. We've gone through multiple cursings and being displaced in these particular conditions, okay? It's Give me 68. It's hot. I, I get you. what y'all saying. Yeah, I'm going to get you one more. Give me one more. I'll tell you five minutes. I'm on, I'm on like four minutes. You like <laughs> you? Two minutes. Two, okay. Two minutes. That's, that's, that's about fair. I, I can do good. You said five because yeah. it's only been Let's about go 68. Three. Let's go. For 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord said, we're going back into Egypt again. Egypt is uh, a word, Greek word meaning bondage. If you read Exodus, it's 20 verse, 20th mm -hmm. verse. So like 20th chapter in the second verse. Uh -huh. He's going to tell you it's a house of bondage. We just came out of Egypt and we walked out, right? But he said, this particular Egypt, this bondage, you're going again. As a nation, we had to go back into captivity again. But what? But again, with ships. Historically, what nation of people went into a captivity by ships? The transatlantic slave trade. Our people getting thrown on ships from the west coast of Africa. Being transported over here as human cargo. Brought over here in servitude. That is what the Lord was talking about. He said that these same dark-skinned Hebrews, these Jews, are going to go on cap going into a captivity by way of ships where they're going to be cursed in cities and fields here you see a map of the diaspora of all the places that our people went from South America, Central America, the Caribbean islands, all through the Americas. That was part of our cursing and, and our captivity. Look, look at it. There you go. Read on. By the way, where are they speaking to me? Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Why people don't care? Because the Lord said that his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He said that his people will not hear the word of God because they despise God. They despise the word of the Lord. Right. They don't want to hear truth. They want to hear religion. They want to hear lies and deceit. Right. We talked about that in Isaiah 30. Good one. observation, my brother. It's All right, I got a minute left. All right, here we go. Let's go. By where, where I by speaking to thee, thou shalt see no more again. And there shall be sold unto your enemies for by men and by women. The Lord said, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for by men and by women. But what's the saying this advertisement right here for slaves? To be sold as cargo, slaves. The Lord said, and there ye shall be sold. Documented history, go ahead. And no man shall buy you. And no man is going to buy, meaning to redeem or save us. It didn't mean to purchase, because we know they said they were going to be sold. We see all of these things happening, and we say, well, why is this important? Because give me uh, John 8, 32, and we'll let you slide, sir. John 8 and 32. We got 30 seconds. It's very important because our people have to come back and wake up to who we are because we have a special place in this earth, man. Blacks, Native Americans, and Spanish, you've got a calling what is that, that God you? is calling you back. Everybody. No, no, it's, it's no, the no. Lord's people. It's That's what he said. Yeah. Everybody ain't the Lord's Lord. people, though. Lord people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Lord. He's got a people, though. You know that, right? Go ahead. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32 And you shall know the truth And the truth shall make you free Christ said that you got to know the truth And only the truth is going to make you free So we got to tear down all the lies We got to embrace the truth We got to start changing our lives Meaning to repent Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand That's what the Lord wants us to do He wants us to change He wants us to learn a better way Which is following after the commandments We got to learn more about who we are Learn more about our history We got to learn more about our struggle And we got to learn more about our triumphs And our victories That we are going to have in the very near future so listen, y'all need to come back, listen to some, um, you know, dang, YouTube, YouTube is Messengers of the Covenant Reloaded, Messengers of the Covenant Reloaded, subscribe on there, and you're going to get more of our lessons, more of our teachings so on there. subscribe I'm already subscribed. Let's do it now, let's do it now. My brother, make sure your wife, your girl, man, she subscribed, but you said it. Your mouth got to go 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 God's ears now. All right? Subscribe to what? What you got a channel? You better look at my stuff too. Oh yeah, we're gonna check it out. <laughs>
Oh, you got it. What you do? I do music. Oh, she so got a YouTube music? channel. Okay. What you do on your channel? I sing. You sing? Yeah. Okay. You gonna start singing for the Lord then? I already sing in my daddy church. No, -uh, we ain't talking about daddy's church. <laughs> Give me that in uh, songs and so that I sing, sing with the understanding. I think it's in Psalm 40. Uh, I'm gonna sing with the understanding. Where's your dad's church at? It's not out here. Oh. Well, I ain't asking where it's here. We might want to go. It's in San Bernardino. Okay, that's a little far. I told you. <laughs> it's not out here. Repent. That's all you gotta do. Uh, I'm gonna sing and sing with the yeah, understanding. Messengers of the covenant. Mm -hmm. I forget it. It's, it's yep. alright. It's alright. You gotta what, hit that subscription button. I am. I gotta. <laughs> it won't let me. I had to do the same thing on mine. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right there. there you go. I'm excited. All right. We're gonna check you out. We're gonna check you out. All right, now, sister, be safe. All right, sister, make sure you check us out. I'm, I'm gonna check out that your, your YouTube. Yeah. See what you're singing about. We're gonna comment on it. <laughs> all praise. All praise, man. You got a question, my brother? You yeah. all right? You've been, you been hanging around, okay. brother. We seen you. I, mean, I seen you over there listening, man. You might as well come on over here. You was over there, too, brother. I seen you. Yeah. <laughs> you running for <laughs> All right. <laughs> God, God. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah, pray, man. I'll yeah. pray. So we're going to close off with that. Uh, give me um, give me, give me Revelation 1, 3. So, I mean, uh, Isaiah 55 and uh, 6. And then uh, Isaiah 34, 16. Give me Isaiah 55, 6 first, though. The time is now, brothers and sisters, and I'm talking about you blacks and Hispanics, Native Americans, man. I'm not talking to everybody. Because God didn't address everybody. Christ didn't. If you don't believe me, come up and come, come, come up and challenge me to what I said. I'm standing on that. Christ didn't address everybody. He addressed his people. He was sent for his people. So do I we. 55, and I think I want six. Sicky now. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So time is of the essence. You gotta seek the Lord while he may be found. You wanna wait until the complete collapse of America? You gonna wait until the bombs drop? You gonna wait until everything else goes to goes hell in the handbasket? Okay. See, yeah, our people believe that. You believe everything the damn white man tell you. Oh, everything's going to be fine. Don't believe that. That's fear-mongering. Oh, and everything. That, listen. You the same people that believe Santa Claus is coming down chimneys, man. That's right. You quick to believe a lie, but when the truth is in your face, man, you don't want to hear about it. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, meaning the God is going to cut off the grace and the mercy of his people sooner than later. Really? And call ye him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. The Lord wants his people that's out here carrying themselves wickedly, moving in abominable ways. He said, change those ways and start following after righteousness. Go ahead. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. And the Lord said he will abundantly pardon if we change our ways and we follow after righteousness. Well, how do we do that? Isaiah 34. Uh, give me, and I'm sorry, Revelation 1 and then Isaiah 34. How are we going to do that? The Lord says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Well, how are we going to seek him? Uh -huh. Go ahead. I, Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. The Lord said he can only be found once you are reading and you are hearing and keeping the things that's within the book of the Lord. Right. Called the Holy right. Bible, man. Isaiah 34, 16. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. The Lord says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Then he said, Well, how do you do that? Well, you got to seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. We just read Revelation 1. He said, Blessed is he that readeth and that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things and do them. That's the only way you're going to seek the pardoning of the Lord. Is if you come back and repent and the righteous change his thoughts. I mean, uh, the wicked changes thoughts to being righteous, and the righteous man establishes himself in the ways of the Most High God. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Go ahead. No one of these shall fail. No prophecies, no judgments, no righteousness that the, that the Bible pronounced is going to fail. Read. 
none shall walk on me. For my mouth, it has commanded, and it's his spirit, it has gathered them. The Lord gathered his spirit. He put the spirit on holy men as they were inspired. They wrote these words. They documented it. History compounds. The facts of the Bible are prophesied about. Everything that we're seeing that's happening to the earth, that's happening to America, is all prophesied according to the word of the Lord. If you think it's going to get better, if you think you're going to vote your way out, if you think your credit cards, are, you know, you keep applying for more credit cards, that's going to balance you out economically, that you're going to uh, somehow magically get out of debt, that the white man's going to throw you a lifeline, you're going to drown and sink. Because you've trusted in oppression too long. Now you got to trust in the Lord. So called blacks and Hispanics, this word is for you. I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High. Quam Yasser Allah.